As a coach, when I teach the forehand and back and ground strokes, I always stress the fact that my, my students should take the racket back with both hands, just, just like they would be holding a ball in the, their hand. And from there, they, they, they still should keep those hands together, all right? So we don't want to go like this, and the stroke should be all about one arm hitting. We want to get both hands involved in that in that stroke because that allows me or kind of I always say that forcing me to turn the hips and the shoulders and and have them all work together into that that shot creating more power so because because of that I, I tell my students to 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 keep the non-dominant hand on the rack until until they turn sideways and even after that as they swing you see those hands stay pretty much close to, to each other just like they would be holding a ball uh, between them for that, I have a drill that I sometimes do with my uh, beginning players, especially. We use a ball. So my player, Bianca, is over there uh, across the net. And what we'll be doing, we'll be tossing the ball back and forth. She will catch it after, after the bounce. And she will go through the loop that we have on both fore, uh, back end and forehand side. So after she catches the ball, she will bring it up, make a little loop, and then before she tosses it back to me, she will go from low to high, just like a regular forehand or backhand ground stroke look like. So this exercise teaches us to keep both hands together, which we'll apply later on in our ground strokes, forehand and backhand. So Bianca, we toss the ball back and forth, make a little loop before you let go of, of the ball, and the hands up, just like we do in the follow through. And we move the feet, Good job. So we practice one forehand, one back in Bianca. So toss the ball one time from the left side, one time from the right side. Very good. And I will do the same. So you see that we are teaching our student to have those hands work together just like they should in a regular ground stroke, forehand and backhand. All right, so we do forehand Bianca. So we make the loop. We work with hands together. Hold on to this one, Bianca. Good job, that's all right. Okay, so what we learned with, with this exercise is we learned that when we take the racket back, we keep the hands together. We load energy over here, which later on will be transferred into the shot. So by practicing this exercise, bring the, bring the hands together, holding the ball and then throwing it, we learn that we should apply the same technique in our forehand and back and ground strokes.